Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft. So in the last one we got on with building an automated mining platform and then we messed around with Darkcraft a little bit. So we're going to carry on a little bit with that, I'm going to show you around what I've done and then we'll get on to some other crazy stuff. Let's get to it! Alright so, first things first, uh, I made a bit of an error, or maybe an error, I'm not entirely sure, uh, with when I made the mining platform. For some reason it won't stay loaded. Now, I don't know if this is just because I'm on a server, it could be, um, but either way, it's not going to do a lot while it's in the deep dark, because every time I come back from the deep dark to here, it closes the deep dark, shuts it off, unloads it, and it's not going to work. I even put a chunk loader over there to see if that would work, still nothing. Still unloads the whole dimension, so I'm going to have to move that. Uh, so, the way that I'm going to do that is actually pretty easy. Um, all I have to do is uh, look at remaining motion, and I need to make this thing, the carriage translocator, which shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. So I need to make a carriage engine to do that. Uh, what am I missing from a carriage engine? Whoops. Uh, carriage engine, I am missing a carriage motor. Okie dokie. Be and we're back. Uh, so we're going to come flying back over here, and we're going to turn off this timer, or just break the timer, actually. Come back, timer. I love you, but you need to stop now. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to need to break all this up here so I can get to the top of this thing. Oh god, I'm getting hit by the darkness. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, actually, I'll just take one of these uh, yellow force torches. There we go. I'm in light. Sort off. Go away. Okay. Uh, hop up into the gap that I made. Come on. There we go. And I'm just going to break this carriage engine. Don't need it right now. Save that for later. And we're going to whack down this carriage translocator. And then I need to go and set one up where I'm going to put the other... Where I'm actually going to move this thing, where I'm going to teleport it to. And I'm going to be teleporting it to somewhere else in the overworld. So it'll actually stay loaded. Let's go. And here we are in the nether. I forgot to mention, actually, I set up another digital miner here that was just mining me up a ton of um, nether quartz. And glowstone, hopefully. I hope it was doing that. Hmm, I don't know, actually. Wait, is this not even running? Huh, I guess I didn't set that off again since I came here. I should, I should probably check the last still running as well. Oh, whatever. We're going through the other nether portal. Whee! And here we are. Awesome. This is where I wanted to be. So I'm going to set up my uh, mining platform to be out in the overworld over here. Because this is miles and miles and miles away from my home. It is really far away. Um, and I shouldn't really have any need to come out here. Heck, I don't even have the map backed here since I uh, updated the server. I don't have any of the... Uh, stuff anymore, but, you know, whatever. Um, so I want to point it away from my home. I think that red one is my home over there, so I'm going to point it shooting off that way, I think. So I'm just going to build up a bit of cobblestone here, and that should be fine if I stick the translocator on there. Bing! Cool! So that should be have uh, plenty of room to go flying across the landscape. Awesome! Oh, here, there's a village down there as well. I've got something special planned for you. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, uh, sorry, evil plans. Yeah, that, never mind. Um, so yeah, that should teleport fine. It should just pop up there, and I don't think it should interfere in any way. So it only goes one block down, so it should be fine. All right, so I'm going to head back to the deep dark through the nether and see how this goes. Hopefully it will be able to teleport between dimensions. I should have checked that, actually. I don't know if it can teleport between, mid between dimensions. Oh, fingers crossed. There we go, back to the deep dark. And uh, yeah, like I said, fingers crossed that this can actually go between dimensions. I really hope so. Oh, we'll see, I suppose. Uh, so we just need to whack a button down on top of there. On top of there. Oh, there already. Have to make sure you don't put it on the frame, otherwise it will get teleported with the frame when it goes. So this, um, that's the carriage engine. That's the wrong engine. Um, I don't know, it is the right one, I guess. I guess we're all just kind of called the same thing. Whatever. Yeah, you need to make sure you don't put this on like the side here, on top of the frame, otherwise it'll move with it. And it teleports in the state that it is exactly when you press the button. So if it moved, then that button would still be sending a signal, and when it got to the other one, it would activate the other engine and send it back again. We don't want that to do that, so I'm just going to move it without it. And uh, there it goes. <laughs> Gone. Done. Awesome. I'm right, just going to grab this uh, carriage in your back because why not, in case you want to move it again. Oop, yep, come here. And sweet, that should do. So hopefully we should go and find that outside of the nether. 
Hey, looking good. Awesome. It's quite happy chilling here. Nice. So that's kind of fun. So like I said, this might just be a thing because I'm on a server. Oh, let's put a trunk loader on this thing. Just to be safe. Uh, I was trying to see if that would make it work in the deep dark, but I don't know. I'd probably just leave it there for the hell of it. As far as I know, it doesn't actually need it, but hey, why not? Uh, so I want this one, the carriage engine, and the timer back on, and on you go. Cool. Oh, that, that nice go to 20 seconds. Uh, but it's not moving, is it? Why is it not moving? Um, oh, right, yeah, helps if I put the engine down. Bloody hell. <laughs> Wake up, Strudel, what are you doing? Kind of the whole point of the thing, you can only need to drive it and zombie just gotta help you. Just gotta help, you die. Alright, there we go. Uh yeah, put an engine down, that that would help quite a lot. And twenty seconds, minus two, there we go. Did that tick? I'm not sure if that ticked. I'll wait for it for a minute. Gimmon! Gimmon! Gimmon now! In your run time! Gimmon now! Now seat yourself. Uh, fingers crossed this should be fine. It's not going to be quite as good as the deep dark, unfortunately. Yeah, there it goes. And it's happy working. And I'm actually going to have to recheck uh, that the timing is enough. To be honest, I could actually move this down to, like, just above um, the ground. Actually, I might do that. It makes a lot more sense than having to just dig through a ton of mountain. Or just air most of the time. Uh, so that's it ticked again. So we should hopefully see that there's some reached bedrock if that wasn't enough time. And uh, nowhere near. Cool. Yep, didn't think it would. Alright, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to um, use these other carriage translocators to teleport it right down to surface level. It's got a block bricks on it, so we'll just dig a big tunnel through it all anyway. So, yeah. Hmm. Do we send our mining platform through the defense of Seawalk Village? Yes. Yes, we do. Have fun with that. You bastards. <laughs> ah, you're going to be so dead in about half an hour. <laughs> ah, that was fun though. Yeah, this, I was did have um, other evil plans for these guys, but fuck it. They're getting mined by the mining machine. Why not? Uh, let's make sure this thing's hitting bedrock. Yeah, close enough. It's hit lava and it was staying there for a decent amount of time, so that'll probably be absolutely fine. Probably you have to decrease the time a little bit if I wanted to, but yeah, it's no biggie. Alright, let's get back home through the portal. Alright, and we're back. Let's kill the portal so we don't have horrible noises. Uh, so that should all be working fine now. It's got a chunk loader on it. It's in the overworld, which is a dimension that's obviously loaded because I'm in it now. And we should see this cobblestone going up. That would be a fairly easy representation. Or actually even easier. Look at the ender chest. Yeah, the ender chest piling stuff in. Awesome. So that's going to happily run now. Cool. And also, I want to check on that um, nether quartz as well now I think about it. Just to make sure that that uh, digital miner is running okay. What's that? 467. 467. 467. Yeah, the digital miner's not happy, is it? Maybe I need to chunk load that as well. Uh, Alright, let's do that. Let's double check. Uh, chunk loader. One of them. Thank you. Gave me one of them. No, I need to make an enchantment table first. Enchantment table, boom, chunk loader, boom, and thank you. And back to the nether. Nether, go. There we go. And I should put this chunk loader. Let's just whack it down here, I guess. And show the lasers. Where are you lasering out to? Uh, that's quite a lot further than I need. Like, a lot further than I need. Can you deal with just one? One is plenty. Yeah, it's more than enough. Sweet. Alright, hopefully that will work. Let's go check. Oh uh, yeah, that's working now. Awesome. Sweet. So that just needs a chunk loader on it. Cool. And that's all getting automatically pulverized up into nether quartz. Sweet. And we should see some nether quartz dust coming as well, because that's a bit of a random chance in the pulverizer. Very cool indeed. I also did like a load of uh, automation in this stuff as well. So I've got a pulverizer here. This basically for all the ores and stuff. Why is there seeds in there? What the hell? Um, I'll take those out now. What the hell? Is that because I had random... Ah, whatever. Um, yeah, so this uh, pull rose for all these different ores, like the nether ores, that won't go through our big, long tripling system. So it's just going to a pull rise and then getting uh, shooted off to one of the smelters to double them. Well, it's just more than double, because nether ores give you quite a lot out of um, each one. 
So yeah, cool. And just some of the other stuff like the factorization, Parade of War, Emeralds, etc. I won't go through the fourth ring, but they'll go through a pulverizer because I'm still touching everything, uh, still touching most things. Um, and then also set up a lot of stuff here for the metallurgy stuff, which again won't go through the triple, but it'll go into the uh, enrichment chamber for doubling fine. So all the uh, metallurgy stuff and some extra different things are all going in there as well. Fun and games. All right. Oh. Door. What are you doing, door? Chill. Oh, and I left the portal on. Go away, terminal. Terminal? Portal. Go away, terminate portal. Yes, that was eloquent. Um, right, let's go rest of this other stuff. Uh, don't need any of this, don't need that, don't need that. Cool whip. Alright, so, uh, what else I've been doing? I have gone ahead and basically done all of Darkraft. I, I finished Darkraft. <laughs> it took a, a hell of a while, to be honest. There's a couple of ones on here that are really quite tough to get. Um, I actually had to look up these potion ones because they were annoying. It turns out it's a potion of invisibility and a potion of night vision. No, I actually got the night vision one, but the invisibility, I was just like, what? The the, uh, the clue was, oh, look, a floating set of armor. I was like, what? Is it like water walking, water breathing? Or is it like something for flight? I didn't understand. I was like, oh, right, invisible person wearing armor. I get it now. Yeah, that was a, took embarrassingly long. <laughs> but oh well, what can you do? Uh, so I had to make some more stuff for Darkcraft. So I had to make this thing, which is a force furnace. And specifically, it's grinding things up. So I made a core of grinding, which you make out of a um, a thingy, a thingy thing, an upgrade um, sphere thing, something like that. I need to look it up in Darkcraft. I can't check on the recipe in there because it doesn't show you the uh, infuse recipes, obviously. Um, Darkcraft, Darkcraft, come along. Uh, where has it gone? That's the one. Yeah, uh, so I put grinding on a, an upgrade core, which make out of an experience tome, which I get by um, enchanting a book with a bottle of enchanting, and then you have to shift right click to put experience into it, and then you transmute it with a force rod to make an upgrade core. <laughs> um, which is quite important, because uh, then once you enchanted that core with grinding, you can put it in here, and that lets you grind things up, which you kind of have to do. For example, to make that di uh, diamond dust, which is one of the things that you need to do in here. And what are other things to do? I don't even know what that one is yet. Oh, it's glowstone. Yeah, whatever. I don't really care about some of this extra stuff. Um, so yeah, that grinds stuff up, which is kind of fun. And I also had to make a brewing stand and get into a little bit of potion making. Yeah, you know, that's vanilla Minecraft, but I just don't like it. I don't use potions. I don't really enjoy potion making, but... So there's a couple of things that I just do in there, but, you know, nothing that exciting, really. The main thing that is exciting is I can finally make time torches! Yeah! So you have to make uh, yellow force torches, which are a force stick and a Gordon power source, and that you get by smelting up a force log. And then you can make yellow fo um, force torches, and you enchant them with a clock, and it gives you a time torch. Whee! Awesome! Uh, so what the time torches do is friggin' awesome. Oh, yeah. Also, I uh, redid the entirety of the farm. Um, so I put the sprinklers in. So I've got six sprinklers and I've got eight uh, little planters around them. So this thing is mental. Let's just go down here. Yum. Oh, this is a staff of traveling, by the way. Very cool thing. Hold shift and right click. It kind of just shoots you around, which is useful for going through floors and stuff. Um, so yeah, I've got planters everywhere. Because I figured I didn't really want any big farms of anything uh, for when I have these time torches on. I really won't need any big farms or anything when I have the time torches on. So I've got um, you know, eight planters around each uh, sprinkler, which is all hooked up by aqueous accumulators. And, you know, they're all set the same way, exporting whatever they, they're planting, etc, etc. And let's have a look at the uh, the crops that i got as well. Let's just uh, do that back up there. Yum. Uh, so crops I have. Got wheat, of course. I've got two plots of that. Cotton, naturally. I've also got melons and pumpkins. And along here I've got uh, three sets of essence crops that are going to be essence dust and essence seeds, more importantly. And um, also got dye crops, which are very cool, you know, let you do all the dyes. Coal crops, gives you coal, simple as, as simple does. Uh, redstone crops for redstone. Glowstone crops, uh, which apart from giving you glowstone, also let you infuse other things with light. So you can take like uh, wood blocks, uh, just planks, and then infuse them with glowstone. And then they'll look exactly the same as wood, but they'll emit light, which is pretty cool. Safe so time to put torches all over the place. Uh, I've also got obsidian crops, which obviously give you obsidian, and also you can infuse other blocks with obsidian, which gives them a higher blast resistance, so they'll be resistant to explosions, which is pretty fun as well. And I'm also putting in a ton more harvesters, which are uh, going to be a lot more efficient in general. Having only one of them 
problem is that it checks every single block individually in turn and so having only one of them it took about three and a half minutes for it to check the entire plot so i figured eh, let's just put you know five down because screw it also ditched the harvester uh the uh sorry the fertilizer because i just didn't really need one now that i've got these time torches no need and just chests behind them of course so this one's a nine chest just so i can put it next to the double chests because they're different and special yay and also i've got uh, redstone lamps in the roof there because reasons um, but mostly because it lets crops grow at night. Uh, you know, obviously it won't grow at night unless there's light, but these are lights and it will grow. That, again, was an eloquent sentence. Uh, problem is that uh, I've made it a bit too small. I probably will increase the height of this at some point, uh, just so I can actually grow trees in here, but at the moment I can't because, yeah, too short. Oh, well. Anyway, let's finally get on to the time torches, the cool bit. So I should have, yeah, this one is right over the sprinkler. So if I put down a time touch there and set it to hyper, we should be able to see, should be able to see, I think it takes a little bit to kick in. Oh yeah, there it goes. It's kicking in. Yeah, there we go. That's growing a hell of a lot faster. Not fast enough. No, no, definitely, definitely not fast enough. Let's just um, speed this up a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And, uh, you know, put some uh, more on, and then we can, hmm, I don't know, maybe stick another load on here, put that up to uh, Hyper as well, yeah, I think this might be about good enough, thereabouts, yeah, I don't want it going, you know, too slowly, just to make sense, oh my god, it's lagging to hell, <laughs> um, I don't think it's meant to go that fast, <laughs> Oh my god, that is amazing! <laughs> Considering these crops take about 10 minutes to grow under normal conditions, twice that if you don't have lights above them. Oh my god! That is insane! Um, yeah, I'm actually lagging quite a lot, so... Yeah, and also I don't have the uh, sorting facility to cope with this much, so... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take a couple of these off, I think. <laughs> oh god, that is awesome. Um, yeah, actually, I might take it down again, just to a just a two. I think two sounds good. There we go. That's a little bit more manageable for it. Yeah. So um, that's time torches. <laughs> it literally speeds up everything. Uh, I did actually have to change configs for this in the uh, the server files. Again, it might just be um, fine on single player. But uh, as it is on default on servers, these things won't actually work at all. You have to go and re-enable them in the configs. Uh, so you might have to do that if you want to use these things. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they're pretty damn effective. And even just with those two. Wow. Holy crap. I am going to need to like make void chests for pretty much everything here if I want to keep using these. Jesus. I think I've literally just got more resources out of these things than I have the entire time I've had these crops up. And it's been quite a while. <laughs> I love time torches. They're amazing. All right then, cool. Um, so actually, let's go and have a look uh, and see how our resources are doing. So look at essences. Essence. Uh, so what do we got? Uh, that's the normal essence that you have to craft. That's all thorncraft stuff. Oh yeah. So in that tiny amount of time, I got about um, you know, about eighty redstone essence or something. <laughs> Holy crap! That is amazing. And a ton of essence dust as well. Sweet. In that case, might as well you know, get on to make some more seeds and stuff. Uh, so let's look up um, magical crops. That's the one I was looking for. Magical crops. And see what other stuff we should think about growing. So I was just kind of going along looking at the um, stuff that you can make out of the essences. See what I would like to have. And, you know, the main thing that I was... Uh, that's pretty much all I was doing. Uh, so uses... So, you know, I thought redstone, well, redstone's not too big a deal, but I really like the look of that essence brick, so, yeah, screw it, why not? Um, and nature essence is quite a good one as well. Uh, it's like you make mossy cobblestone and vines and cactuses. Like, cactuses, that's really cool, being able to make them, just because cactus green's a bit of a pain to come by sometimes. I think unless you make mycelium, I think let you make all sorts of cool stuff. Ah, magic fertilizer. Oh, the magical um, food just looks pretty good as well. I kind of want to see if I can make that. But he has to make it out of uh, this magical crops food, which doesn't want to grow in the planters for some reason. I don't know why. So I'll see if there's a different type of farm that I can use to uh, grow them. 
but you get nature essence just from like everything uh, every single type of these crops all have a slight chance to give you nature essence I think it's about 10% or so so it should probably have a decent amount already yeah, I've got 4 so that's pretty crap actually that's awful huh unless there is nature seeds is there nature seeds I don't think so I think I was looking for that before yeah whatever so anyway, yeah what should we move on to uh, so next seed would be got dye get iron seeds but to be honest there's no point gold lapis ender seeds yes Yes, I would like ender seeds. Um, ender essence, what does that give for us? Ender pearls, naturally. Cool. Ooh. Could even make an ender portal. That's cool. An end portal, even. That is very cool. There's no other way to have them or move them. I actually think you might be able to move them with a couple of boxes, but that's cool. So ender pearls and, um, yeah. Ender pearls and end frames. End portalless. Fun. Yeah, why not? Uh, so I think I need to upgrade my infusion stone to make them uh, ender seeds. Go! Yeah, I think I do. I also need to make the essence. Uh, ender seeds. Can I make the strong essence yet? Make the thing. No, I need to upgrade it one. Uh, so that one, then that one. Make no. Where's my where's where's my thingy thing? I forgot what it's called. Uh. What's the thing called? I don't know. Uh, infusion stone, that's it. Where is my infusion stone? Infu... Huh, maybe that's time I deleted it. I might have done. I was doing like hardcore clearing out of uh, inventory, out of that thing, and just putting it into the trash can here. Because uh, I was clogged up with so much armor and stuff. Oh, that's no big deal. Let's make another um, infusion stone. Regular, weak. That one. Oh, it's essence and diamond. Psh, easy. Got diamonds going out of my ears. And then I need to make a a weak one with coal essence. Done. And then a Do I need to make a regular one? Yeah, regular one with a redstone essence. Done. And then I need a uh oh that made me a strong one, yeah, cool. So then I can make strong essence. But I have to make all the essences before it. Of course, I should really set up the auto crafting for this. And I need to make weak essence first. I should really, really set up the auto crafting for this. I should make like a ton of that. Yeah, that'll do. I don't think you use the essence for anything else, so psh, whatever. And that's, yeah, weak essence is to strong essence, into strong essence. And whoops. One there, one there. Go and make me all that stuff. Cool whip. Um, and then same again with the infusion stone. Oh, I. What? 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 Why? What? All right then. I suddenly have three now. Why didn't it come up before? Ah, whatever. Uh, twenty strong essence. Cool. Uh, and the seeds are like so. Excellente. And realistically, with that time touch on, we only need one, because that'll always give me at least one seed back, and most times two. So, yeah, that'll just grow out from one. Cool. Uh, what next? Hey, Enderman. The fuck are you doing? The fuck out. No. You two bugger off. Yeah, you two. Fuck off. Get out of here. This is my house. Bastards. Yeah, you run away. Um, yeah, so anyway, next thing I wanted to get on to... Well, setting up another mob farm, I think. Uh, there's something like this one. Maybe not exactly like this one. Maybe I'll come up with something different. Uh, but I want to put it in the nether. More specifically, I want to put it in a nether fortress. So I can get some wither skeleton skulls. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll stay there. I might just, you know, grab the uh, the wither skeleton seeds and plant them. So I can, you know, run it a lot faster. Actually, now that I think about it, this thing runs kind of slow, doesn't it? Ah, I love time torches. Uh, let's just get four of them. That should be good, I think. Uh, yep, grab them in there. And let's have one here. And one here. And one here. And one here. That should be plenty. And up to hyper. Up to hyper. Up to hyper. And there we go. I'd say that that's a um, a pretty effective mob farm, all in all. Oh my 
<laughs> shit. <laughs> oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> that is amazing. Looks like the skeleton's kind of broke it there. Oh, whatever, I don't even care. That's too cool. <laughs> oh my god. I think it stopped just because there's too much crap in there. How did you spawn in there, Skelly? What the hell? Okay, I think that might have been too many time torches. I think that definitely might have been too many time torches for this thing to handle. All right, let's just let's kill all the time torches. They're being really loud. They're being very, very loud. Can you shut up? Okay, yeah, anyway, I think... I'm gonna have to fix that now. I think the game just kind of went, ah, physics, no, crash. Yeah, I think it um, kind of broke a bit there. <laughs> well, that's good to know. If they ever happen to need some bones or brains or anything, then um, that's a good solution. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, God, yeah. Anyway, I think I'm gonna make something in the nether similar to this, anyway. All right, there we go. We have a nether spawner. This should be fun. This should work all right. He says, as nothing appears. Well, you know what that means then. Let's uh, speed this up a little bit, shall we? Yeah, let's have, say, three of these, I think. That should be plenty. Holy sh... Oh my god, there's stuff out there. There's a lot of stuff out there. Hi, with a skeleton. Hi, blazes. Oh, don't, don't shoot fire next to the sulfur. Jesus, blaze. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh god, it's in gas and everything. Okay, yeah. That would probably be why the spawn wasn't working. Because there's a lot of shit everywhere else. Like you, Willis Gallon, who decided not to drop your stuff. I would like it if you did. That was like the whole point in coming here. Uh, yep, I'd say that's working now. <laughs> oh, that just does not get old to me. Like, never. It just doesn't. Oh. Did, did something die here? Alright then. Uh, I'm just gonna block this up actually. There we go. Yeah, I'd say this is working pretty well. Uh, so I want to find out if I get any Wither Skeleton Skulls. I've got one already. Okay, cool. And there's a blaze stuck there. Okie dokie. Wow. You were just having a bit of a break before you went mental again. Fair enough. Um, Blaze, would you mind, like, dying, please? Just can, can of dust? Yep, yeah, that, that seemed to work. Then there we go. I'll do the same here actually. Put some black gla nice glass in. Hi, Magma Slime. You go back in there now. You go back in there, thank you. There we go. Yeah, this is working pretty well. I'm getting like, a lot of gold from those zombie pigmen, a load of um blaze rods. So the reason that uh, I am actually using these spikes uh, specifically is I didn't realise this before, but apparently they work um, as if it was a player killing the mob, so some of the things like the uh, the wither skeletons they only drop their heads if uh, you kill them yourself. But the iron spikes work the same way, and they'll also give you their heads. So worth using them. That's definitely a good reason that you should use them for something like this, even if it wasn't that important for the one before. I think uh, sort of bones and that kind of thing are all right. But uh, yeah, this is pretty effective. Let's see if we've got those wither, wither skeleton skulls yet. All right, so now I've got some wither skeleton skulls. It's time to do this thing, this wonderful, wonderful thing. This should be fun. With the skeleton skull. With the skeleton skull. Boom. There we go. Hello, Wither. How the devil are you? I can't kill you yet because you're gaining power. Oh, well. Come on. Bring it on, you douche. We got this. And you're done. Yeah, yeah. Explosion. Screw you two. Where'd he go? What? What? Ow. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, come here. You, you die in the face now, please. Oh. Stop going higher. Come here and let me kill you, you prick. Yeah, there we go. Die. And it keeps wanting to go higher. That's kind of annoying. Come on, come back here. And I'm stuck at... Oh, God, that's quicksand. Kill the quicksand. There we go. Come on, get back down here. Let me kill you, sir. In the face. Die. Die. <laughs> and... Oh, no, where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. Die. 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 Did I kill him? I killed him. I killed him dead. Where's the stuff you dropped? Here it is. Uh, some experience. Ah, here we go. Lootings. Awesome. S seriously? S are you serious? I just killed your god. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, Kadoki. Yep. Ah, uh, that was that was the weather. He's um, well, this stage he's he's a bit of a pussy, but you know. <laughs> so we got another cube out of that. That's cool. I'm pretty sure we can use that for some crazy cool stuff. So that's fun. And I think there might even be a way to like make these out of themselves, sort of duplicate them, something like that. I don't know. But either way, this is like the best, the top tier item in the game. So that's fun. Yeah, cool. There's the weather. We have another cube, and we can make some stuff out of that. I guess. Cool. You know, I just had a thought. Does that work? I don't know. Well, that's at lava already. Huh. Is that going faster because of the time torch? I don't know. Is that actually affected by the time torch? So I can set this to like... I don't know. Ow. Whoa! Kidoki. That's the downside to time torches. Mobs get fucking evil on them. That seems to be going down at an incredible rate. Huh. I could probably queue this up for five seconds. Or whatever it's at at the moment. Actually, no, ten seconds seems good. Maybe? Is, is it dicking? Oh, I accidentally put three down. Okay, no, it's accidentally duplicating these things. Maybe I shouldn't have all of them down. Okay. I think I broke this thing by putting those on it. That's good to know. Well, cool, fixed it. And now it's going at every 10 seconds, getting pretty much every all known to man every 10 seconds. Yeah. I think I beat Minecraft. I'm getting like everything that I could ever need in seconds and everything is just coming in so quickly that I'm good, I don't have enough storage for it all. Yeah, I think I beat Minecraft. Cool. <laughs> Well, uh, I think in the next one maybe I'll get into some other cool stuff since I have all these resources now. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm Mr. Trudel, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.